Hey everybody, Abby here. I am here to do monthly favorites. I don't have a whole lot this time, but just getting right into it with the non-makeup products. The first is a nail polish. I have been in love with glitter polishes. I love Wet n Wild polishes, and they just came out with the Ice Baby collection. And this is a collection of very, very glittery shades. And this is one of my favorite shades, and this is... It's all in the cut. I will have a blog post down below of the manicure I use wearing this. So I love this lilac -y, very glittery shade. Then I love this product. I wanted to hate it because of the price tag, but I really do love it. Um, it does a great job cleaning my brushes, and it's the MAC Brush Cleanser. And I was an avid user of the... Um, elf brush cleaner but this gets the brushes way cleaner and I don't have to use nearly as much so and then one brush um, I just recently purchased this but I'm already in love with it and it's the MAC 209 eyeliner brush it's just I don't even know how to explain it but it's just the perfect eyeliner um, brush makes the application so easy and I just really like it um, then on to face products. I have one face product and it is the Light Scapade Mineral Eye Skin Finish from MAC. It's just a pretty like neutral highlighter. It just gives a great glow onto the skin and I absolutely love it. Um, and then on to eye products. Um, I've really been loving using cream and gel eyeliner and I love this for my waterline and this is the e.l.f. cream liner in black. What I don't love about this is that if you can tell mine has already started pulling from the side so it's starting to get drier um, and it just makes me upset because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do once it starts getting a little more dry. Um, then this is just kind of like a look that I've been loving wearing is um, one eyeshadow all over the lid maybe on top of a colored base or something um, and just ran through the crease. One of the colors that I love to do that with is Flamingo from NYX. It's like a purpley, pinky, like golden shade. It's just great. So easy. Um, then I've also been rediscovering, um, like I use the Silent Treatment Trio to do that as well. Just use this set, um, the taupe color and this peachy pink and just put that all over my lid. And then I've kind of also been rediscovering my love for um, Style Stab and this is a taupe MAC eyeshadow. This was from their Star Flash collection and it's just a great taupe, um, great all over lid color, just gorgeous. Um, then my favorite, favorite um, transitional color is um, Moleskin from MAC and this was from their MAC Me Over collection. It's just a great neutral warm brown and it just looks great as my transition color. I've really been loving two of the I new really ones. I really love this um, baked palette from Wet n Wild. It's from their holiday collection. This is a Walgreens exclusive and this is in Bake Off Contest. Um, I'm usually not one to love blues, but this has a great, like, icy taupe color that is absolutely gorgeous. And it is so far from other colors that I wear, um, but it still stays in that taupe family. So, if you want this, definitely go check that out, guys. And then I've also really been loving the I Heart Matte Palette from Wet n Wild. It has four great bright colors and four great neutral colors. These neutral colors are great to wear every day. These are great for like a pop of color on the lower lash line or maybe a pop of color on the crease but I just love this palette and for five bucks it is a steal. Um, as well I've also loved the mineralized eyeshadows that I got from the holiday collection um, this year from MAC and this first one is in hold that pose like looking at the pan right here you're like what color is this going to be like I really don't know and it's just like a very again silvered taupe color it is just great and it looks spectacular with this next color and this is winterized and it's just like a plummy purple and that's what it looks like. Swatched. 
and it just makes for a great look if especially if you're someone that likes taupes and purples <laughs> um then i have one mascara that i've been loving um this is the voluminous false lashes from l'oreal and i was not so happy that I bought this after I've read some bad reviews about it but in all honesty I absolutely love this mascara and what it does for my lashes it kind of has a weird looking brush but it just works so good and I have it on right now with a couple coats of um, the organic wear from Physicians Formula but I just I love it so um, I would recommend this if you're someone that likes a drier mascara one and two um, this just kind of gives like kind of spidery looking lashes and it does clump up really quickly but I was someone that needs a little more attachment to my lashes because I have very small lashes so I really love that um, three lip products kind of all in the same family or two are in the same family I apologize um, one is my favorite nude to wear in the winter time um, and this is blankety and it's just like a warm pinky nude <coughs> And I have this on my lips right now. It is just great. And this is an amplified finish. Great for fall. Great for winter. Um, just to keep your lips looking still warm but um, keeping it neutral. Then two of the darker shades that I've really loved doing um, maybe just like a single eyeshadow color on my lid and doing like a berry lip. The first one is in is a Wet n Wild Matte Formula. And this is an In the Flesh. and it is just like a deep rose color um, and this is like my f one of my favorite lipstick formulas so I love that and then one last MAC lipstick and this is in total wow and it's just a nice berry but this is a glaze so you can build the intensity with this lipstick so it's just great and it's very shiny such a beautiful lipstick but those are my favorites I really do hope you guys enjoyed and thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to everybody soon bye guys